Okay, so we'll start our lesson with um, creating a Merry Christmas text, uh, uh, an animated uh, text that will create custom using curves and path, and then we will uh, use a uh, kind of like a rope style uh, object using modifiers, curve, and screw. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, creating a uh, curve, and we're going to start with a circle. All right, uh, the circle, when you uh, get one uh, at the beginning, it's super soft and, I mean, smooth. Not soft, super smooth. So we're going to lower the iteration to, uh, let's say, to 4. You see it kind of become faceted a little bit, okay? The reason for that is if you have a powerful computer, that's fine. You it probably could handle it, but we're going to make up tons of these by duplicating it so I'm lowering down the resolution of this sphere I'm in the circle uh, five or even four probably is fine okay so when you create it you'll get that option right there I'm also going to shrink this a little bit um, I'm going to go with let's say point two okay so I shrunk it now I gotta redo my iteration here I don't know why it does that when you shrunk it it just you have to redo the uh okay so we need the rope for this one so i'm just going to go to edit mode we're going to have four kind of rope um kind of strings kind of together okay so what i'll do is i'm in edit mode i selected everything by pressing a and then i'm going to go g x okay so it can move and i'm holding down control so when i move this it snaps to the right perfectly okay I'm going to go shift D, okay, and then I'm going to go GX, so I can move it, right, GX control, control is just to snap, all right, I'm going to select all of these, I'm going to press A again, selects all of them, I'm going to do shift D to duplicate, I'm going to press R, and then control, hold down control, so I can rotate it and snaps, so you can see now, if I Go to object mode, simply I move the circle in edit mode. That's very important to remember. I didn't move the circle, the first circle from the center to the right in object mode. Otherwise, you it will take its pivot point with it. Very important when I move the original circle from the middle, I was in edit mode. Okay, well you can replay the video and see that. Okay. Alright, so now that we have this. We're going to add a modifier to this called screw modifier. Okay. It defaults at z-axis and that's what we want. Okay. Watch this when I go to screw amount. You see it. All right. So I'm looking at this, the screw amount, so that the uh, distribution of the rope, it's not too tight and not too stretchy. Okay, I'm probably going to go with three right here just for the sake of having um, uh, even um, uh, even number, okay, or uh, or an odd number uh, if you want to, or a whole number, all right, just to kind of make it easier, or I don't know, two point five, probably two point five looks good, okay, it doesn't look too stretched, okay, and after that, there's this iteration right here. This is the one we're going to animate because this is the one that's going to increase that number, right? So then I go crazy on that. You see it go all the way up. And there's a the rope. Okay. Now what do we do with this rope? Uh, we can still scale this, of course, right? Now we can make it follow a path. All right. So if I make a new object, curve, let's say path right there. You remember that pad is just a straight line, okay? Um, our uh, object probably is way too big, so I'm going to shrink it a bit already, okay? So there's that pad right there, okay? And I'm in the front right here, okay? Or we can go to the top. I'm going to go to the top so we can see the, uh, it's just, it's kind of like having the text on a, a table, flat table, all right? So there it is, okay? So I'm going to select my rope right now. I'm going to add another modifier to it called curve. 
Once I have the curve, it's going to ask, which curve do you want to follow? All right, remember, we have a pat right here. So I'm just going to select it from here, nerves pat. I have other things here I pre-made before the demo because I don't want to waste time in the demo. Okay, so nerves pat right there. As you can see, it did nothing except uh, follow that pat on the x-axis right here on the orientation. Okay, that's not something we want because the pat is what? Horizontal, right? So click Y, not it. Click Z, that's the one. All right, you see it, it's following it. All right, so remember, we crank up too much iteration on that. I'm going to lower that, okay? But what it is now is I'm going to go to the nerves pad. I'm going to press number 7 to go, numpad 7 to go to the top. If I press tab right here, you see the pad right here? Okay, so if I move any of these points, look at it. It's following that path. Not only does it follow it, I can extrude this path. Once I go past the original iteration right there, of course it stops, then I can go back here, add more iteration, and it follows that path right there. Make sense? Okay. So now, uh, what we want is for it not to follow this path, I, I pre-made some text, okay? So I'm going to get rid of the curve here for now, okay? And then I'm going to delete this curve pad also. I'm going to turn on those things I pre-made. Merry Christmas right there, okay? We might need to scale this down a little bit more because it's, it's still way too thick for the text, right? So I shrunk it a bit. All right, so we're going to start with this one right here. And you can have multiple copies of this, okay? So you can duplicate this actually. So we're gonna call this one, uh, this is the rope for Mary. All right, then I can duplicate that rope for Christmas, rope for the dash for the T, and rope for the circle of the I, right? So I have rope for the Mary right here. So I will apply a modifier again because I deleted the previous one. Curve, okay? And then it's going to ask you to pick which one. So I'm going to click object right here. So it'll be the Christmas Mary right here. Okay. And based on the previous uh, demo, Z is the path or the deformation axis that we need. Okay. There it is. And I don't know why it went bonkers. Okay. Let's close that first. Okay. Let me make sure that I do uh, apply... Um, all transform to all my uh, to all my uh, pad right here. Okay, just to kind of reset them, and hopefully that will do it. So curve. Okay, right there. The it's looking good. It it actually jumped to where it's supposed to be, and then z axis. So. All I did was uh, select on the object and uh, object apply all transform to reset them. And there it is. It's looking good already. It just needs what? More iterations, right? So if I crank up my iteration. Mm -hmm. All right. So now, okay, it won't go past 100 by dragging it. So you're going to have to uh, punch in the number 101. Then for some reason, it continues again. Okay. So don't freak out when it stops at 100. <laughs> I don't know, it's like a safety thing, but you drag it, it stops at 100, then type 101, it goes on again, okay? So, next, uh, we'll do the same thing, right? So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to duplicate this. Okay, whoops, um, maybe I should have duplicated it before uh, I uh, change it. Okay, so I'm going to click undo. All right, so what I'll do here is I'm in object mode. I'm going to duplicate. And then um, with the duplicate, I'm going to uh, change that one. And then let me see if I can pick, let's say, for Christmas. All right, there it is. It started, though, on this side. Uh, let me see. Did it in reverse? 
So maybe I can change the angle. I know that's just for the uh, well, that's going to complicate my animation. Uh, oh, did I start my text on this one? Uh, maybe. All right. Well, anyway, I'll uh, I'll duplicate this again. Okay, and then I'm going to change the path to the Christmas tea. <laughs> As you can see, we only need a few iteration on that one. All right, and then I'm going to duplicate this again, or just this one. It's, it's a lot simpler. Okay, duplicate that, and then uh, change the path to the O right there. And it's ginormous. Um, I think I need to uh, reset that one as well. So, so I'm going to click undo. Let me just add an um, object apply all transform all right and let's select I think duplicate that change that to the O there we go okay and I can scale that a bit just so that it kind of matches Probably will do a better job on this one, not making it a, not making it a, a duplicate, but it still has that rope kind of look to it. This is probably better off as a, as the original object. Okay, so if I go to uh, the Mary rope right there, I'm going to duplicate that. Okay. Let's get rid of curve right here and then this the screw for it so I can have uh, this object oh sorry this one right here just those original four okay I'm gonna add the uh, screw for it oh. that number one which what did we put 2.5 right and I'm going to go to add a screw modifier because compounding, um, whenever you do the compounding thing, it just messes with it. Oh, sorry. Uh, what did I put here? Uh, so yeah, 2.5. Then I'm going to add uh, the curb modifier. And I'm going to be doing the O. There we go. And along the Z. Uh, did I click too much undo? Maybe. Let's see. Hmm. Well, I wonder why it keeps expanding it that maybe it started way too small let me just make that bigger Some reason it's not really liking it, so good. I said the origin. Okay, there it is. It's uh, doing something wrong with this one. 
but I'm just going to position like that. You'll you'll get the point. <laughs> All right, so there it is. Merry Christmas. Uh, using kind of like a rope along a path. All right, so just to make this, uh, you can do multiple things with this, trying to make it a little bit more correct. Uh, it involves more um, modeling of that one. As you can see, there's some collision. So this is going to be on you, how your OCD kicks in, okay? Because you're going to have to kind of raise some of this okay just so that you don't get the collision mm. but those things are kind of hard to see and do when uh, uh, when you're just making the path so okay make sure uh, uh, if you want to take care of that take care of it after all right so I'm just going to turn on some EV right here uh, for the rope most likely the one you want to use for uh, your text itself um, you don't want any uh, probably shininess to this, so they're going to be pretty rough. Okay. And you could you could use the same one for this one, so I'll just use this one. Uh, let's make this. Uh, I'm going for that kind of brown kind of rope color okay so let's say we'll stick with that one I'm gonna select the Christmas right here and I'm just going to replace this one with that material the brown one so it it's pretty much consistent with all so when you change one it just changes it it's for the whole thing I'm gonna make that a little light right there okay and maybe the this one right here we can make it and just so that we can see it properly and whatnot. Okay, you can use uh, whatever light you want to use for this one. Area light probably would be recommended for those soft shadows right there. I'm going to turn on all my uh, the minimum settings we always use for class. Okay, and select the light. Uh, make sure it's using. Uh, contact shadow you can also go to shadows in the main EV render you can put high bitrate and then soft shadow right there so you get okay and then you probably want to work with uh, the light right here with uh, the distance and uh, and thickness so that it kind of takes care of that okay all right that's probably only happening through uh, previewing it. All right, so, and you can animate this, of course, if you select the memory right here, and I go to my iteration, okay? So, uh, let me save it first, it might crash. <laughs> so, let me go back to zero on the iteration, okay? So, I'm in one, and then you can start that, so you can right-click this, insert keyframe and let's say you want this Mary in uh, five seconds so that would be 120 frames okay you can go to 120 right here and then you know, should have remembered the numbers but there you go and it won't go past 10 101 all right right there okay then you can right click this and then insert another keyframe. So now you got two keyframes from one to, okay, we're gonna go to this one right here, solid mode because it might die. Okay, so there it is. Actually, there's a, is there a duplicate? Yeah, there's a duplicate there, so. Let me get rid of the duplicate. No wonder even if I animated it, it's still there, but there it is. So it's like it's like you're writing it. Okay. And of course it's a slow computer, but it the timing is correct. So if you set it to five seconds, it'll be five seconds long. All right.